seven months ago, I completely quit drinking. So I haven't drank in seven months now. It's been the most incredible, incredible period of time in my life. You mentioned um, you quit drinking alcohol. I know right now you're not doing sugar because you're following a strict diet, ketogenic diet. With that said, um, are there any other things in your life that you think might be like prob problematic for you that you might want to quit doing or and anything that in, in the distant future you might want to get after like all right this is something that I don't want in my life anymore you know I've been thinking a lot about you know day 76 and what's gonna happen on that day and part of me wants to just continue 75 hard and literally like continue it in the same way of documenting it like hey it's day 137 of 75 hard um, part of me you know, in one second says that, and the next second I'm like, man, I can't take, I can't wait to take a good solid month off completely. Um, I keep going back and forth, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is modifying it a little bit. Um, the two workouts a day is difficult physically, but it's more difficult in the time, like with my family. So, like for example, like last night, um, having to get home from traveling back from Florida and still get two workouts in. Um, that's not, it doesn't feel very fair to my family for me to all of a sudden have to go spend 90 minutes, um, you know, working out outside and inside. So some of the, some of that, like the two workouts a day, I don't think that's going to happen every day, but I think it'll happen a lot of days because I really think that second workout is like a game changer. When you eat and then you go do 45 minutes of cardio outside, it's like you're not giving the food a chance I don't know, it, it, like there's probably zero science to it, but like mentally, it makes me feel a whole lot better like when I eat my last meal and then I do cardio and then I go to sleep, I feel like it's just a game changer.